So, John Michelle, I'm really glad to be here to finally see the finished project uh, and see how everything came out. I feel very fortunate, as I said before, to be here and to work on your project. Um, so I guess my questions are, now that you're all done, is what would be the, the best part of your experience? You know, what did you enjoy the most? Well, I think I kind of dreaded our kitchen <laughs> from the day that we bought our home. It was something we've talked about for years and years. So actually being able to do it and put our ideas um, to work was like was just very exciting, obviously, to finally have it happen. I think the finish line was definitely my favorite part. <laughs> 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 yeah, the yes. process. Yeah, yes. It is a long process that and you have to go through. And the upfront design portion is so important because that you know gets us to the end. Yes. Uh, so what is your favorite part of the kitchen? Do you want to go first? You can go first. Um, I have a couple of favorites. So definitely one huge favorite is the island. Um, we had given Jim, the owner, a picture, as you know, uh, just kind of an inspiration picture, and he nailed it. I mean, I can't, I still walk in, and I love the contrast of the dark wood against the marble, and it's just something I've never seen before, so I absolutely love it. Um, and surprisingly, I think the coffee machine might be my second favorite. It was John's, like, kind of, his treat and I use it every day more than once a day and I love having it. John was like the coffee maker in the house before and embarrassingly I would call him and be like can you make coffee because I, I don't ever make it good and now it's just like boom 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 done. So I would say I mean I love my stove my stove is my baby but um, definitely the island and the coffee machine. I think well, I'm my top two. Our first meeting. That was a little rough. <laughs> no, it was a good meeting. <laughs> the coffee machine, the coffee center, and for you, John, that was like the most critical thing to be able to get to your coffee. And so from my standpoint, it was like, how do I integrate this design so that I make sure you get it? So it works for everybody. And I think that's probably my, my favorite part about like the functionality of, it's almost like having my own space right. between the, um, the coffee machine, the beverage fridge, and um, this little sink that, you know, I know a lot of people don't use that wet bar sink, but I use it every day, you know, and I think having that little extra space to stay out of Michelle's hair in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you have your little spot. Yes. Hide into. And I hang out and I, in the and I sit at the edge of the bar um, and I'll check emails and get work done there all the time, you know, so it's a great place for me to just sit down and you know and enjoy the kitchen and work so you know there were certain things that you know John had his must-haves and I had mine and he really wanted the small sink and I didn't really want it I, I knew a lot of people that had it and didn't use it and then he really wanted it so I thought you know what it's fine we'll get it but because the kitchen is so long I use that all the time, especially with the coffee machine. If you're emptying, you know, the drip tray, it's just really convenient to have it so close. So that was kind of a surprise um, where I didn't think we needed it and I kind of went along with it, but I use it all the time. Well, I think having that, you having your main sink as the cleanup, it's nice to not have anybody get in your way as well. Right. So it gives that secondary workstation so that you now don't have any conflict of people working with right. you. Right. So as far as the negatives, oh. are there any bad things that, that didn't really... So I will say I, there's, you know, we obviously didn't do an addition to our house. We had the space that we had. And I think with the space that we have, I really don't have any regrets. I don't think there's anything that I would do differently. Obviously, a kitchen renovation, you know, it's it's not easy. You know, if anyone goes into it thinking like it's smooth sailing, it's not. Our biggest hiccup is we had some issues with the hood that was very challenging, not to do with anything with design. You know, I think just living out of our basement for a little bit was not so fun, but the funny part is, I think it's like childbirth. Once, <laughs> once you're done, you're like, oh, that wasn't so bad, was it? You kind of forget about it. You do. You know? So once, once it's <laughs> over, it's in your past, and you're enjoying what you're yes. doing now. Right. But there is, and a lot of people don't—they don't realize how critical 
you have, you know, your water cooking. I mean, mm. everything you need is right here and you use it all the time. And so you all of a sudden take that away. And, you know, it's a big deal. Yeah. Spring and summer are definitely, uh, luckily we did it in this. We started in the spring, yeah. which was a very good time because then if we needed to grill outside, we could. But if it was in the winter time, it would have been that much. A lot more difficult. Course, yeah. yeah, and I think it helped with not feeling so on top of each other because it was nice out and we could go outside and we could eat outside if we wanted to or like John said, grill. It made it a little bit better. I couldn't really imagine doing it in the dead of winter. Um, so I would say, you know, that that was a big help for sure. Sure. So you're happy with the final result? Oh, I love it. I don't mean, it's stunning now that I get to see everything. You know, it's funny. Kind of people done. ask me sometimes, and I almost forget what it was like having our old kitchen. Yeah. Like, it's not that we've had it finished for all that long, but um, I don't know. Just it feels like our kitchen, and yeah, I forget what it's like to have that old ugly old, old kitchen. <laughs> So. And that's usually, I tell people a lot of times just to take pictures as you're going through the process. Oh, we did. Because then you look back and you go, oh my God, how did we look Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It that. was so really that bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, that's well, wonderful. I'm Kathy, really thank you, you so much again. Thank we you. couldn't have done it without you. I sing your praises to everyone I know. So. And it's been, it's just been a, a good, good process, good project, and great clients. Thank you. <laughs> thank so you. Best for better. Thank you. Thank you.